Well, this is where I left you last time in part one, walking past Bollington Methodist Church. A quick look back at the old rail viaduct, which is now the Middlewood Way. I am guessing a little bit here. I assume that these once were all mill cottages. Across the road here, we have the dog and partridge, and also the police station. Let's go and cross the road if we can, and get a closer look. This is a Robinson's Brewery pub. We are now walking up towards what I'm calling the second aqueduct. I call it the second aqueduct because I showed you in the first episode, in part one, was the aqueduct that was closest to where I was moored. Just like the first aqueduct, there's a set of steps right next door to it for getting down to the road level. This set is even steeper than the first and there's more of them. We will probably come back this way after we've finished the walk. I'm just looking at how steep this embankment is. It's a wonder it holds the canal up. Right, it's time for us to walk through the aqueduct and take a look at the other side of the village, the other side of the canal. If my map reading skills are okay, I believe this is the River Dean. Now I do believe there's a couple of wine bar slash restaurants up in this area somewhere. A little walk up around here. I'm not really into wine bars, so I'm not going to walk up there. I'll show you some pubs instead. Let's go back to the main road and take a right. This old bus shelter here has got a stone roof. An interesting little kiddies play area. No kids though. Oh, this looks like a church. But I can't see it listed anywhere on the map as a church. Perhaps it was a church and now is a house. I don't know. Something I do know. This is a pub. And this is called the Hollybush. I only have a quick look inside the doors because I don't buy a beer. I intend to do that later. Now I've come back down the road underneath the aqueduct and we're going to walk down towards the playing fields. And there's a couple of points of interest where they are for me anyway down this way. Here is the River Dean again, although it's more of a stream to me at this point. This takes me back to the good old days in America with my good friend Kyle. We would go to breweries quite regular, and this is a little microbrewery. This is called Borrington Brewery. I'm rather looking forward today, because not only do they have a shop here where they sell beer direct, you can come and pick it up, they also have their own pub. So now to walk to their pub. It's called The Vale. And it's, oh, it's all of a hundred yards away from the brewery. That's the old rail line there again, which is of course now the Middlewood Way. Well, here we have it then, The Vale. Looking forward to trying a beer. 
but I can tell you that this was originally two houses and it was bought and converted into a pub which is rather unusual these days it's normally pubs being converted into houses and I have opted to try this rather gorgeous pint of oatmeal stout they also have a food menu here this is the specials board I did see some of the food come out of the kitchens it looked rather tasty but I didn't try any myself right back to the boat up the steep steps here we go These have got to be some of the steepest steps I've ever climbed up. Complete with singing that was a course. What you don't get to see here, of course, is not only am I climbing the steps, I also have my bag on my back with cameras and tripods and all sorts in it. Made it. Well, back at the canal. Now it's time to walk back to the boat. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that little tour of Bollington. Uphill, down, down, up steps, down steps. Got some exercise in on that day. And a really nice pint of beer at the Vale. Recommend that to anyone. If you're in Bollington, go to the Vale. There are, as I say, it's Bollington Brewery. Little microbrewery. Making some great beers. They're actually catching up with America with some of the great beers coming out of the microbreweries over there. Well, of course, brings me to the end of this video. I must thank, of course, my Patreon and PayPal supporters. Your help makes that beer possible. Of course, thank everybody else for watching and subscribing. And don't forget, if you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe. And don't forget to hit that old bell notification button. That way, YouTube will inform you every time I upload a new video. That just leaves me to say, thank you very much for watching. Trevor Ames.